I bet you guys can't wait to comment on this one. What's going on, people? It's your boy Fordy, aka Ford Have Mercy. Apparently, Paul Dummett is attracting Premier League suitors. Now, before obviously reading the title, could you have guessed who it would have been? I mean, my money would have been Crystal Palace. Pardew swooping in for an ex-player. You know, he wants an, a Pardew, another player. I mean, before we get into Dummett, it's nice to see Crystal Palace fans are actually starting to warm to the idea of that we was actually right in the first place. I mean, they've they thought to ourselves, or in fact, they thought to themselves, ah, you know what, Newcastle fans are, are bitter people. You know, the only reason why you're slating Alan Pardew is because he left you high and dry and all the rest of it now. But you guys are starting to see what he's about, innit? Yeah. You're starting to see that now, ain't you? Anyway, let's get back to Dummit. Dummit situation. So, before reading, obviously, the title, um, could you have guessed who, you know, is after him? I mean, as I said before, my money would have been on Crystal Palace, but apparently it is West Brom. West Brom. Sorry, I just had a pizza. It apparently is West Brom. Tony Pulis and his men, or one of his... Um, assistants were in the crowd yesterday during the 4-1 win where he was captain yes Dummett was captain captain of the side that beat Reading last night so first it was Burnley and now it's West Brom I mean out of all the players as I said before Dummett really I mean how much would he be worth how much is a Dummett what is a Dummett nowadays how much is that going for you know Anyway, so, question is, if you was Rafa, would you sell him? Sorry, that pizza was lush, by the way. Would you sell him um, and, <laughs> or should we keep him, in fact? I mean, he didn't have a bad, well, that would let me think about this one. He did that, and then it was, he got roasted that time. Okay, he had, a, he had an okay game yesterday, um, and we won, um, and... Did, he didn't concede. No, he didn't concede a penalty, so that's another uh, positive. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm on this positive thing at the moment, just trying to stay away from negative things from Newcastle players. Um, so he, he didn't concede a penalty. Um, he made a sliding tackle. Um, yeah, so he had a decent game. Yeah, all in all, he had a decent game, and he was captain. Yes, right, so we can sell him now for, let's uh, let's make up a fee, uh, Six million, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine million. Nine million for Dummy. He's yours. Signed, sealed, package delivered to West Brom store. Definitely a Tony Pulis player. You can know you will hit balls up long for you. Um, make errors and, and no, he won't make errors. Sorry, he'll make sliding tackles that are that are good. Um, yeah, and then won't track back and. I'm staying positive, staying positive. Anyway, let me know, guys, in the comments box below. Is Paul Dummett worth £9 million? I'll just pluck that out of thin air, by the way. So don't scold me too much in the comments box below. But should we keep him? Shall he stay? Is he our new captain or the cells should take back the armband against Bristol City? Um, so many questions, man. I need so many answers from you guys. Let me know in the comments box below. See you all very soon, guys, because I've got something special coming for you guys. Yeah. Keep it tuned. Peace.